Meet Mr. Clark. Clark is an expert trainer in English communication. He has scheduled a live class on a guide to corporate communication in WizIQ Virtual Classroom. Clark wants to enroll his students, upload his course content, and check if everything is set up right before the launch of his class. To do this, Clark signs in to his WizIQ Academy. On the home page, he clicks on the menu button at the top left to open the side menu. In the side menu, he clicks on Live Classes to go to the Live and Upcoming Classes page. There it is! His upcoming class on a guide to corporate communication is listed here. Clark clicks the View Class button, which takes him to the Class Overview page. Clark is conducting this class as a closed group. He has the names and email IDs of all the students who are to join the class. Therefore, decides to enroll the students by himself. He clicks the People tab to enroll students in the class. Clark can enroll the students in three ways. One, by submitting the individual email IDs of students one at a time, or by adding students who are already registered in his academy, or by submitting a list of the names and email IDs of his students in one go. However, the list must be prepared in an Excel spreadsheet in a simple name versus email ID template. Here, he downloads the Excel template by clicking the CSV template button. After adding the names and email addresses to the Excel template, Clark uploads the file to complete the enrollment. Wow! The class invitation has been dispatched to his students' emails automatically. Now, Clark needs to add his course content in the WizIQ Virtual Classroom Library so that it is easily accessible during his live class. He clicks the Menu button at the top left and clicks on Library. In the Library, he clicks the Plus button at bottom right. He can create a new folder or upload a file. Clark creates a new folder named Corporate Communication Files to keep his files organized. In the folder, Clark selects the Upload New File option and the Upload window pops up. Here, he can add his course content in three ways. One, by uploading it directly from his PC, or two, by providing a web URL where the files are already uploaded, or three, by fetching the files from Gmail, Dropbox, Google Drive, Box, or a OneDrive account. Clark clicks the Select Files to Upload option and adds his course presentation and a video file to the library from his PC. He will be able to access this content instantly during his live class. But hold on! Clark recalls that his students John, Liz, and Diana had asked for an invitation as well. Ah. I need to increase the strength of students by three, decides Clark. He returns to the Live and Upcoming Classes page and clicks the Edit button. The class editing window opens up. Clark scrolls down and changes the maximum attendee limit to 123. He closes the window after making sure that everything is on point. Excellent! Clark is all set for his upcoming session.